What's up, guys? Let's take a ride. Question is, what do we ride? The side chick? The main squeeze? Mama Badger's bike's getting a new battery this week. Should be here Monday. It's out of commission at the time. Oh, the joys of motorcycle ownership. Let's take a ride. What's up, everybody? I'm Sonny the Badger, and welcome to my Friday free ride. So every Friday, I take you on a ride with me, and we talk about motorcycle stuff. So, this week, guess what we're going to talk about? You guessed it, motorcycle stuff. Anyway guys, this week's topic, man, I've been thinking a lot about it, and this is more of a, not a topic, but more of a, I would say a straight from the heart talk about motorcycles why I ride what I ride, and why I love motorcycles. So this is gonna be a little bit different. But before we do that, if you also love motorcycles, love watching videos about motorcycles, then uh, be sure that you give us a subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a video. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Be sure to leave us a comment because we reply to all of them. And let's get started. Alright guys, so first off, let me start this off by saying, it's not what you ride, it's that you ride. Always remember that. Yeah, you may have some buddies that ride Harleys that give you a hard time, or buddies that ride Hondas that give you a hard time, but honestly, if they're just not busting your balls a little bit and don't care what you ride, you may have the wrong buddies. Just saying. Anyway, along those lines, buy whatever it is you can afford buy whatever it is you like or love that you're going on a ride. Because the whole point of having a motorcycle is to ride the motorcycle. I know some people want to build the nicest motorcycle they can and take it to shows and sure there's that side of it, but for me it's purely about riding. And so buy what you love. And the funny thing is you may not know what that is when you get started. And when I first started riding on the street, first thing I had was a crotch rocket. I had a CBR 600 F4, yellow and black. I had it for about a year, and I rode it quite a bit, but it was just like short trips to work and back, stuff like that. I didn't like ride ride it not like I do this bike anyway and then I got a Honda Shadow 1100 Sabre and uh, I like that bike as well I kept it for a little over a year I did live back in Missouri so we only rode a few months out of the year or I only rode a few months out of the year and then it basically sat and so both of those bikes I had loans on so making a payment on a bike that was just sitting in the garage just didn't appeal to me. I also had two young kids, so I would buy them and sell them and buy them and sell them. So then, forward fast a few years, and my wife and myself and my kids, we all pack up, we come to Florida. And I had an opportunity to go to work for Harley Davidson, because as Mama Badger says, I was going through my midlife crisis and didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So the opportunity to work for Harley-Davidson came up, and I took it. Right, I love motorcycles, but honestly, I always thought Harleys were slow, overpriced, old man bikes. Now mind you, I was turning into an old man here, so. So I went to work for Harley, and I lived in Florida for just a short period of time. I really knew nobody. So when I was working at the Harley dealership, I got to know a lot of people in the area. All bikers, 
But what I also got to see that I never knew about Harley Davidson, and a lot of you may not know it, is that connection, that community that surrounds Harley Davidson. They have this rich history throughout the United States and the world, um, and you can really see that on the dealership level. I mean, the dealership's like a clubhouse. People ride there as a destination every week to hang out, see their friends, talk motorcycles. And when I saw that, that really triggered my connection to the biker community that honestly I had never seen when I was riding my Crocs Rocket or my other bikes. That's what really like opened my eyes to the biker community and really got me involved. While I was working at the Harley dealership, the big seller was a street glide. Everybody wanted a black street glide. That was the bike. Myself included. That's all I wanted. Kept going home to the wife. I want a black street glide. I want a black street glide. So, Mama Badger's like, all right, well, why don't you buy another bike, fix it up a little bit, sell it, get a little more money, because we didn't want to go into debt to buy the street line. We just didn't. And we didn't want to spend all of our money, all of our cash, right? So she's like, find a bike, ride it, fix it up, sell it. And then we'll work our way up to the street line. Okay? Alright, I'll do that. So, I started shopping on Craigslist and everywhere I could shop. And the fortunate thing was working at Harley, I kind of knew what the bike sold for at the dealership. And the more you get to know me, the more you're going to know is I don't like to pay retail for anything. I will. I just don't like to, especially cars and bikes and trucks and stuff like that. So I went shopping. So one day I'm shopping on Craigslist and I see an ad for a 2005 CBO Fat Boy for a little more than half of book value, which is a good deal, right? So I literally took my lunch break from the dealership and went to Naples, which was uh, 45 minutes from where I worked, to check out this bike. Went by myself. So I get there, and the bike's in real nice shape. It has 17,000 miles, which is great. But they had taken off the wheels so the chrome wheels that come on the CBO wasn't there. The original seat was gone. They had changed the handlebars. So looking at it, I'm like, well, that's not really worth to me what you're asking for it. So I made an offer. Ends up they took the offer. I'm gonna make this long story short. They took the offer. I bought the bike, figured, hey, I could put a little bit of money in it. I can flip it, make two, three grand off of it, and move on up. So I get the bike. The next day, I, my wife takes me up there. I pick up the bike. I ride it back to the dealership. I have one of the techs go completely through it. He checks it out and says the bike's in great shape. So I start riding it. I ride it. So the funny thing about this bike was I would take it to work every day. I would park it out front with all the other bikes. And when people would come into the dealership, they would stop and look at this bike and walk around this bike. And, and everybody just really liked this bike. Which, if you're a motorcycle owner, there is no better feeling than people walking around your bike and loving your bike, right? So of course, that just made me love my bike that much more. But then, the longer I worked at Harley, the more I realized that, you know, everybody and their brother wanted a black street glide. 
and I'm not typically the one that wants the same thing as everybody else. So the more I rode the bike, the more I fell in love with the bike. And then Mama Badger got her license, so we got her a Honda Shadow 1100 Aero, which um, we knew wasn't going to be her permanent bike, but it was her starter bike, and it was a great bike for her to get started on. And then we bought her Harley, and of course she loves her Harley. But I guess what I'm saying is, buy what you love. You can do anything on them. I mean, I put this bike, oh, the bike that I bought is this bike I'm riding right here. So I've had this bike for about five years now. I've got almost 90,000 miles on it now. country on it. So you can tour on a soft tail, a sportster, whatever you want. Get what you like and then do what you want on it. So I have a bag that hooks to my sissy bar back here. And the longest trip we've taken has been four weeks and I can pack for four weeks in this bag and a backpack. So, I don't need a touring bike. I don't know what's up with all the trucks on this back road. But anyway, anyway, in an effort to make this not a super, 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 super long video, um, I'll do more videos like this talking to you guys about why I ride, what I ride, and the fact that I love to ride. But, needless to say, I never bought the Street Glide. I love this bike. Um, I don't plan on ever getting rid of this bike. But this was also my very first Harley Davidson that I've owned. Remember guys, life's short. Ride your motorcycle. See ya!